In this assignment, you're going to take a photograph. Make sure it's a photo and not a drawing. And you're going to recolor or change the color. To be able to edit a photo, we're going to have to do something called tracing. So first, let me show you. When you're finished, you should have the original photo and labeled. You should have one photo traced in high fidelity, which is going to be the closest possible look to the original. So the original has millions of colors. And we are basically going to trace uh, high fidelity, which is going to be the closest to the original, 16 color, which means you're going from millions to 16. And we're going to do one grayscale. And the purpose is so you can see the difference. The more color, um, the more color pixels per inch, the more visual information there is. And it's pretty clear when you zoom in on the image, the difference. You can see it's getting a little blocky here. And then of course it's blocky, but also in grayscale on the right. Once you have placed your original and traced, three versions and labeled them, you're going to choose one to recolor. So let's start by finding yourself a picture. Once you have a picture that you want to use, um, let's drag it to the program. Now, <clears throat> I don't necessarily want all this white space, it's a lot of extra space. And in this assignment, you have to create more than one artboard. So um, just the nature of creating a new file, you default to one artboard. Um, I'm going to take the artboard tool and simply adjust it down. Since I didn't give you an exact size, your artboard has to be, if you just leave yourself a little space for um, labeling, that's all you'll need. Okay, so we have one artboard, and I have my artboard panel open. If you don't, which you probably don't, go to Window, click on Artboards, and there we go. This will work just like layers as far as you can come down here to the bottom, add a new artboard, look at that. Now I have two. You will have to have four artboards when you're done, and I'm going to zoom out. They're all in one file. I'm going to take the artboard tool and just sort of create my own layout. You, it doesn't matter what layout, as long as you've clearly identified everything. So I have my first artboard, and I'm gonna double click and label here as well. So make sure you're labeling the artboard here, and then of course, labeling right underneath with your type tool. So to begin, um, I'm going to copy, Command C, or Edit Copy, and then I want to put one on each artboard. So I could either just do Paste three more times, or I can click Paste on all artboards, and it takes care of that for me. So all three of these are exactly the same as the original right now. Now, we want to do what's called tracing. If you have your Control Toolbar open across the top, you'll see Image Trace. If you don't, you can go to Window, down to Control. Um, you also are going to want to go to Window and open the Image Trace window, which is where you're going to see some different settings. And I can open Advanced as well. Once I trace, I can change these settings individually. You can see we have some presets here. We're going to work with high fidelity, which is going to uh, trace as close to the original as possible, which means maybe you won't have millions of colors like your original, but you will have close. We're also going to do one in 16 color, and we want to do one in grayscale. Shades of gray. Hmm. Okay, we'll change it to grayscale here. All right, so to start with, we'll select our first and let's trace now it went directly to this mode black and white we could change this one to grayscale and you'll have to be patient while that progress bar goes or if you wanted to start with high fidelity 
whatever order you want whichever image you're working on you can change your preset you can change your mode so right now we have the high fidelity once you have traced the image you can either trace all three and then go back to expand or do these one at a time once it's traced you go back up to control and we're going to do what's called expand expand now separated all those different identified colors into individual paths which right now looks like a bunch of blue hard to know what it is but if i zoomed way in look at that every individual change of color has a path outlining it okay let me zoom back out and we'll go to the next the next and don't forget to label of course so this one is high fidelity mm -hmm. and let's label our artboard next let's go to this image oh let's get our image trace showing again and again you'll choose either this time 16 color or you'll do your grayscale. doesn't really matter what order as long as you label everything and look at that so we've gone from our original with millions of pixels per inch of color to our high fidelity which is much closer than 16 color 16 color we get really blocky with color and with some things that'll make perfect sense and in other situations it would not look so good um, again we want to expand so up to control click expand and we've got all of these different paths identifying sections of color and last but not least let's go to grayscale and shades of gray actually we could do even high fidelity in grayscale i'll let you choose um let me see no high fidelity is going to give us color as a default we'll just leave this as is and again we want to expand now because all the areas of color oh let's label these this is 16 color and grayscale and don't forget take your type tool and you want to be sure and label each and that came out really tiny i guess because i sure cannot see it I'll have to delete that and go back and label. Okay, for the sake of time, let's select one. You can decide for yourself, are you going to do the high fidelity 16 color or gray scale? You're going to select, now that you can see all the paths, you can use your live paint bucket, because remember to use live paint, you need to have the path surrounding the area selected well couldn't get better than this because all of the paths are selected you can come in pick what color you want to work with let's just say we want to um, fill purple in this area we're going to click give it a moment and look at that we have filled you can go around click fill any of these spaces you want so you are going to recolor one of the images whether it's high fidelity whether it's 16 color or grayscale that's up to you